let's see next question that is question number 44 if one meter is equal to if one meter is equal to 3.281 how many feet are there in five meters one meter is they're saying one meter is equal to 3.281 feet so you have to find five meter will be how much five meter will be how much so just cross multiply x into one meter will be x and this will be 5 into 3.281 multiply this one uh, 5 into 1 is 5 5 into 8 is 40 carry 4 5 to 10 plus 4 14 5 3 15 plus 1 16 will be and a point will be 1 2 3 1 2 3 will be 16.405 option number c for question number 44 answer will be uh, option number c you just have to multiply okay it's very easy now let's see question number 46 now 46 what it is saying is a certain sum of money was deposited in a bank and it became double in 10 years so what they are saying a certain sum of money was deposited in a bank and it became double so let certain sum be p okay let certain sum be p and it became double in 10 years so double means what 2p in 10 years yes or no so what is the rate of simple interest now they're asking for simple interest you know simple interest is equal to uh see first of all they are giving 2p doubled doubled okay i do 2p minus and this will be the uh, first principle okay so p what you will get si is equal to 2p minus p will be p now you have to remember the formula of si that is si is equal to p into r into t by 100 they're asking to find rate rate with this one okay rate will you have to find it comes in percentage so this is very important formula for si you have to remember now you see si uh, we have already got this one for si we have got p and here all the p is there r we don't know you have to find and t they have given how much for 10 years already given t is how much 10 years time is 10 years so you have to write 10 and then divide by hundreds then again start with the cancellation 0 0 this this 10 is cancels with this 0 now the remaining will be p into 10 equal to p into r why 10 because this 10 will go with this p now again p into 10 bring this p down below here equal r we have to find this r now cancel this is p okay this is p so cancel p and p you'll get you will get rate of interest will be r equal to 10 okay r, L, r will be 10 so answer will answer for question number 46 is b option number b that is 10 let's see next question that is 47 let me drop this one let's see question number 47 49 47 what is saying what is number what is the number if 40 percent of the number is 380 so this one how you will do what is the number let the number be x you will do like that okay let the number uh, be x if 40 percent of the number they are saying 40 percent of the number that is x we have taken is 380 again this is very simple this candle 0 0 to 2 to 5 now this will be 2x by 5 equal 380 cross multiply you'll get 2x equal to bring this 5 with 380 into 5 now you need the value of x will be 380 into 5 by 2 start with the cancellation 2 1s are 2 2 9s are 18 so you're getting 190 into 5 which implies x equal to 190 into 5 multiply this will get 5 0 is 0 5 9 is 45 carry 4 5 1 5 9 9 50 the value of x will be how much 9 50 so for question number 47 answer will be option number d that's 9 50 okay let's see uh, next question that is question number That's question number 48 see this type of question it is 
talking about series now so you have to remember series it follows some certain pattern okay certain pattern say here it is let, let me write two four seven eleven this question mark and 22 here what they want to uh, ask you is you have to find this uh, question mark so how will do did you do two see the difference first first of all you have to check with difference four minus two is how much two then seven minus four is how much three 11 minus 7 is how much? 4. So they, it follows certain pattern you can see. It is 2, 3, 4. Next number will be how much? It will be 5. So plus 5. This will be 5. So you add 11 plus 5 will be how much? 16. Okay. So the, uh, the required answer is how much? It is 16. Option number C. So question number 48 is option number C. Again another series question. That is question number 49. Complete the series. 2, 5, 10, 17, then again question mark, 37, 50, 65, follow the same pattern, 2 plus 3 is 5, 5 plus 5 is 10, 10 plus 7 is uh, 17, now you have to find this question mark, we don't know, then this question mark plus uh, 37, we don't know, then add this one, 37, how much, 37? plus 13 is uh, 50 50 plus 15 now you can see here you can see 3 5 7 next number will be 9 so the missing number will be 9 this, uh, it, is, it is following uh, odd numbers odd number pattern okay so plus 9 here you'll get 17 plus 9 will be 26 and then again you check if you're confused uh, you add uh, this two number 9 plus 11 so 26 plus 11 will be 37 so the option for answer for fourth question number 49 will be option number t okay let's see last question for today that is question number 50 for the math section uh, what it is saying is if tuesday falls on fourth of month this calendar question okay what day will dawn uh, what let me clear if if tuesday falls on fourth of the month fourth of the month what day will be will dawn three days after three days will be the day after 24 okay so let's see first of all fourth of the month is tuesday so if this is fourth and this is tuesday okay tuesday so third will be third will be you can say it is uh tuesday this is monday second will be sunday first will be saturday let me write it nicely mm, first will be uh, this will be saturday second will be sunday third will be monday fourth will be tuesday as given in the question okay now what will be the dawn three days after 24 now we have to see 24 how you will reach 24 uh, so to reach 24 You'll have to know the uh, which number, or I mean which which day. Uh, suppose if this is for Tuesday, next Tuesday will be after seven days, right? Next Tuesday. So you have to remember this one. This four is Tuesday. Uh, you can write it as four. Then just write next number will be five. Make one week, okay? Five will be Wednesday. Six will be uh, Thursday. And seven will be friday see this is a one week right one week so next friday you'll get when seven plus seven will be 14 will be next friday okay they're asking 24 so again another friday will be plus seven it'll be 24 21 so this will be friday if 21 is friday they're asking 24 go to 24 21 is friday 22 will be saturday 23 will be sunday and 24 will be monday okay they're asking after after three days three days of 24 then if 24 is monday after three will be monday tuesday wednesday thursday so 24 25 26 27 if this monday this is tuesday this is wednesday this will be thursday okay so for question number 50 answer will be option number c so this after this question we have come to the end of this uh, math section uh, stay tuned for next uh, sections also like GK and English. Uh, we'll up update, we'll upload it soon. And 
if you have not understand some question just repeat it again some questions are tough a bit tough uh, as for example this uh, question number 50 then question number 40, uh, 45 these are a bit tough okay so what you can do is uh, you can repeat it again and again and uh, so on okay thank you so much and all the best